Hey, it's Brigzar, and it's time to review a vintage Lego set. We got set 2404, the windmill building set for ages one and a half to five. It builds a windmill. The bricks can interlock with other regular Lego bricks. It comes with one figure. It's for boys and girls, and it came out in 1987. Is that right? So, let's see. Can I build a set? Gonna open it up. We're going to take it out. Alright, how do I build this thing? Let's find out. Alright, see. Let's see. This part. Wait a minute. I think that goes like that. This goes over there. It says windmill. This is not the windmill. So that goes over there. And that goes there. And then that goes there. And this goes here. And the smiley face guy goes there. Whoa! I did it. Awesome. Is this door still open? Yes. So that is the windmill. Honestly, I thought it was a boat, except for the fact that it said windmill. Could be like a steamboat, turn it upside down. It does spin. The guy has a creepy smile. Now he's, yeah, look at that. Ooh. And actually, it is kind of unusual to find sets like this with the inner tray and the box because most of the time people throw this stuff away because it is for little kids. But we managed to even keep the, the catalog. So let's take a look at this catalog. It's actually, I guess, is this one geared towards Duplo and small kids? Because there are different um, mini catalogs. And actually, this is the parent's guide to the Lego system. So I think this is the one that came with uh, the preschool type sets. All right, so here we go. Parents' Guide to the Lego System, the toys that you grow up with. And I indeed did. So there again, it shows the um, bricks connecting. thought Susan William was a real person when I was a young person. But here's some other types of Duplo sets that were available. And here's some of the basic sets. Lego Land and Tegna. So it's kind of skipping through all the different themes really fast. So I think this is Duplo centric. Stack them, match them, snap them, roll them. Interesting. Look at those googly eyes. That is pretty cool. Let's see what it. Oh, we got ones for the, even the little teeny tiny babies. Now I bet you some of these are really hard to find still today. And then here's uh, the kind of in the group that we got those types of sets. Here are some more. There's the airport, the windmill, the fire chief. Oh, fire chief building set. Oh, I gotta get that one. There's the passenger train. I would like to get this train, the freight train, and the passenger train. For my collection there's we do have a set of these tracks here 27 12 curved track 27 11 straight track oh this even has I even mean, has the price on there four dollars it's interesting they're unoutgrowable that is very cool the key to the lego system is that it is truly unoutgrowable as your child progresses duplo blocks can be, become the imaginative special building pieces for any lego of any lego creation because they snap together. It's pretty cool. Unoutgrowable. It's a good term. So here we're getting up to some of the more basic sets. 40% more building pieces than what? Basic. I think these types of sets though is kind of at the heart of what LEGO was when it began, but I don't think they were real popular. I think people like some of the more themed sets like this, like Town. I think this kind of stuff is more popular. I don't think people are looking up basic when they look up at old Lego sets, and here's 
This is kind of the last days here, 1987, of classic space. They kind of started getting more things in it, but Castle was starting to heat up. Started in 84, here we are in 87. And in my world, this was my world as far as what Lego trains were back then. I was 87, I've been a freshman in college, and it's like, it's the only trains I knew were these. That's all I would see in the catalog. I didn't know uh, some of these other ones. Here's some of the Technic 6. I actually got that set. I had that one uh, back then. And then here are some. I used to go through these service packs, and I wish I'd bought more things from this. Because um, actually they're pretty good prices now. <laughs> but, you know, if you wanted some more trees or signs, castle figures, uh, town figures, space figures, motors, accessories. I wish Lego did more of this instead of like the pick a brick, but I guess, or the um, bricks and pieces. I, I kind of like these little service packs they had back in the day. Look how much base plates cost back in 1987. Actually, the prices haven't really changed that much for inflation. I mean, $4.25 for a 10 by 10 green base plate. I mean, there's, what, $8 now? But it's not bad. Oh, look, Fabulan on the back. The mosaic. I need to do something with the mosaics again. So that is a look through a 1987 catalog or pamphlet, whatever you want to call it. For, for It's called the Parents Guide to the Lego System from 1987. Thought I'd show it to you as part of this review. If you like old stuff, old Lego stuff, you come to the right place. We got things from 1958 and up. So if you want to see those, check out our other videos. If you like Duplo, we do have a playlist just for the Duplo, but we do do other things. I said do do. Do things for other people, not just uh, the little kids like this. Thanks for watching. It's pretty sorry.